Introducing from Waco, Texas, to 225 pounds, Sam Houston. Also introducing from Omaha, Nebraska, 260 pounds, Ted DiBiase. The introduction of Ted DiBiase and Sam Houston will see the appearance of Terry Taylor and gentleman Chris Adams momentarily. Also in this hour, we'll be telling you about the new UWF Training Center. And for you gentlemen that would like to get involved in professional wrestling, get your paper and pencil handy because later in the hour, we'll tell you all about the revolutionary Universal Wrestling Federation Training Center. We'll have that in the hour. We'll also hear something from Dr. Ness, Steve Williams, as the tag team champions of the Universal Wrestling Federation enter the ring. And now, introducing the current UWF tag team champions from England at 233 pounds, gentlemen, Chris Adams. And from Vero Beach, Florida, at 232 pounds, Terry Taylor. This match, one fall or 10 minute time limit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this should be a great one here on the Universal Wrestling Federation. Thank you very much for being with us. And we've got big news for the fans in Southern California this Wednesday night in San Bernardino at the arena, this Friday night in the historic Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles, one week from tonight in Irvine at the University of California at Irvine Brand Event Center. The bell sounds, and we'll tell you more about some other dates coming to the Midwest in the hour. It'll be Terry Taylor and Sam Houston starting it off for their respective teams. Hitting predicament by Sam Houston. Taylor kicks out. High cross body by Terry Taylor. What a collision between those two superbly conditioned athletes. And what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is, I think, very clearly for the top competitors in the world of professional wrestling today. Chris Adams and Terry Taylor comprising the Universal Wrestling Federation Tag Team Championship. They're a tremendous team. Many people have said they are the team of the future. Perhaps Ted DiBiase and Sam Houston will have something to say about that. It's an interesting situation here. We all know Ted DiBiase, a good friend of Terry Taylor. But they're both great competitors as DiBiase holds on, Taylor trying to free himself. But the master tactician Ted DiBiase holding on. I'll be talking with Ted about his world tour here next week on the program. Fireman's carry takeover by Terry Taylor. The tag was made. Gentleman Chris Adams comes in. They're working on the arm of Ted DiBiase. These four men are friends, but they're also professional athletes. This is how they earn their living. And they are competing here on the Universal Wrestling Federation. Great move, athletic move by Chris Adams and a drop kick to Ted DiBiase in a second one. Lateral press, the leg is cradled, count of one. Inside cradle by DiBiase, and Adams kicks out. The action is so quick and so rapid, this is great competition. And where else but the Universal Wrestling Federation will you see athletes like Chris Adams and Ted DiBiase in the ring competing with each other. This is a main event caliber match, and we're bringing it to you right here on this great television station. Thank you very much for being with us. The tag was made. Sam Houston comes in using the second ropes for a little bit of leverage. The arm is barred. This match one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Great offensive maneuver there by Sam Houston. And now Houston with a wrist lock on Chris Adams. We'll have that information on the training center. The UWF training center, a first of its kind, sanctioned by a major wrestling federation. So get your paper and pencil handy for that announcement. We'll also see the Iceman coming in the hour. Terry Taylor staying loose, staying very attentive in this match. This is a non-title match, but a very important matchup here on national television. Universal Wrestling Federation now airing in over 100 cities in the United States. Houston trying to go for that takeover, and there is one way to, more than one way to skin a cat, as they say down in Waco, Texas, where Sam's from. Reversal by Adams, and Chris Adams shows his wrestling expertise. And another drop kick. And Houston almost went through that rope, and Adams 
The tag was made. Started saying thought Adams had hurt himself there. Football tackle by Ted DiBiase. Former West Texas State athlete. And now Adams reverses Ted DiBiase, which doesn't happen too often. And now DiBiase countering. Gentlemen, Chris Adams, pinning predicament. Both men rapidly back up to their feet. And now Adams tagging in Terry Taylor. This is a match I personally have, this particular matchup, wanted to see for quite some time. Terry Taylor and Ted DiBiase, two of the great scientific athletes, scientific wrestling athletes in the sport. Two men that have been tag team partners on many, many occasions. Of course, Ted DiBiase with what has seemed to become an obsession of winning the UWF Heavyweight Championship. DiBiase went to the well. It was dry, and Taylor capitalized on that tactical error on DiBiase's part with a perfectly executed neck breaker. And now a body slam. Terry Taylor showing his offense. The knee drop right to the head, and that is a tough offensive maneuver. The leg is cradled. You almost wonder when someone's going to lose their temper in this one. DiBiase with a flat of the foot, and that is a legal move. And now DiBiase slamming Terry Taylor. We don't know exactly how much time is left in this match, but the tag has been made to Sam Houston. Houston with an elbow. And caught Taylor with a lot of velocity. We've got a couple of minutes left in this match. Both teams being kept abreast of the time. You can bet that the pace will quicken here, if that is possible. Double elbow. The champions using some double teaming tactics. They're taking advantage of the count. There's a lot of pride involved here. Clothesline and a tremendous clothesline. And Houston landing right on his head at, as a result of that clothesline. From Chris Adams and Adams with a headbutt, and it is getting aggressive in the squared circle. A kick out, count of two. Referee Carl Fergie down in a great position there. There's the tag. Terry Taylor with both feet right to the flat of the stomach. Controversial, perhaps, but legal, yes. Taylor with a reverse backbreaker. Jamming the stomach right across the knee. And lateral press, I thought he had it right there. And I'm sure so did Terry Taylor. Now Taylor setting Houston for the pile driver. The champions pulling out the stop, but Houston has elevated Taylor. And in comes Ted DiBiase. It's DiBiase and Taylor, and time is running out in this one. There's a clothesline by DiBiase and an elbow. He's going for the pin. As the seconds elapse here in this opening contest of the Universal Wrestling Federation, DiBiase goes for the leg and Taylor moves. DiBiase and Taylor competing as fiercely as we have seen them in any. We heard the announcement there, 60 seconds left in this one in County. Lateral press. And DiBiase kicks out. This match has that all it has was filled to be. I was excited when I saw it signed. Now the lateral press by Taylor. And there's a count of two. DiBiase kicking out. Now Taylor dropped that knee pad. And Taylor went for the D drop with a knee pad lower. And DiBiase moved. And now DiBiase. Yes, he's setting it for the figure four. Taylor kicks out. Taylor also a proponent of the figure four leg lock. DiBiase spinning it. Taylor kicking out. DiBiase going back to that turnbuckle. Time is running out here. DiBiase and Taylor now. Well, DiBiase cradling. DiBiase back in the pinning predicament. Taylor kicks out. And the, the bell has sounded. What a 10 minute time in a tag match this has been. Some great competition here. Four of the finest athletes in professional wrestling today competing at top speed here on the Universal Wrestling Federation. This is a time limit draw. And what a matchup. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with more exciting Universal Wrestling Federation action. 
There's the official decision. It is a draw and we'll be back with information on the UWF Training Center after this timeout.